Hey everybody, Jonathan here for One Minute Walking Tours. And I've always felt if there's one big impediment to people enjoying the story and drama of history is how it's taught. And I think that too many people feel history is just boring names and dates. But sometimes those dates are September 19th, 1954, and those names are Marilyn Monroe. And on that date, 20th Century Fox was shooting its big budget romantic comedy directed by Billy Wilder called The Seven Year Itch. And Marilyn Monroe and Tom Ewell were coming out of the Lux Theater, which is no longer there, but it was standing right there, where that building is. They had seen Creatures of the Black Lagoon. They were walking up. You can see the grate now, can't you? They were walking up Lexington Avenue. Marilyn Monroe came, stood right on this subway grate. The breeze from the six train, and that's what goes underneath here, blew up her halter dress, and she said, ooh, isn't the breeze from the subway delicious? Now, unfortunately, that's not the scene you see in the movie. Well, it's the scene word for word, but you didn't get to see what they shot here on location. Now, there's a reason for that. This is noisy. It's noisy now. But that was a publicity stunt. Billy Wilder was keen to shoot as much of that film, which takes place in New York, on location as possible, but 20th Century Fox had leaked the shooting date to the public and let it be known that if you were here on that day, you could get a glimpse of Marilyn Monroe's legs. Now, between three and 5,000 spectators turned out, including Monroe's future husband, Joe DiMaggio, to get a glimpse of Monroe's halter dress. So all of that was unusable. Too many people, an actual working subway, so they had to reshoot all of it in the studio, which was probably 20th Century Fox's intention, as it was anyway. So when you see the film Seven Year Itch, which you should, it's still very funny, um, that's the scene you're seeing. But any uh, stills of Monroe standing on a subway grate, uh, any of that type of thing, she's actually standing right here. If you can see me. But this is unmarked. There's nothing around here to suggest or to say. It's not painted differently. But this is a little bit of New York City's history and cinematic history that you need to know about. And that is, of course, our mission here on One Minute Walking Tours is to let you know that should you be on the corner of Lexington and 52nd Street, you too can stand on the subway, wait for the six train and say, ooh, isn't the breeze from the subway delicious? So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our new YouTube channel and we'll go new places and do new things together.